السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وأسعد الله مساكم جميعا بكل خير. So this is the last slide of my presentation that concludes my presentation. It's good to start from the end. You need to, okay. There is no fast track to show you the whole presentation than this one. So thank you for my colleagues to make it easy for me. Uh, well, first of all, يعني, uh, I'm really uh, very much delighted to be with you today. And sorry, actually, I thought the presentation will be given in Arabic and then there will be a translation. So if you allow me, I have to speak in English, but I will show you the content in Arabic. And I think that will be the best fit so I can uh, help blending everybody. Uh, what we have in this event is an event that blends a huge uh, information that talks about infrastructure. And actually, I don't want to talk much about the infrastructure, the size of the project that is coming, the new trends and what have you, because that's what you will be hearing for the rest of today, probably tomorrow, and that's what everyone is here uh, doing. But rather, I wanted to take you to totally a complete different shift, which is talking about what we in Saudi Contractors Authority are doing or trying to do in order to help not only the large contractor, but actually the small and medium ones, to help executing these, what I call it, a tsunami of huge projects that are coming in the pipeline. And when I say tsunami, that would be the best word I could use to express what is happening in Saudi Arabia for the next probably decade or so. And we have heard a lot of announcements. We have seen a lot of projects being uh, you know, uh, awarded. And we have seen a lot of mobilizations taking place. But trust me, this is just the beginning. Nothing has started yet. So you have to be very eager to see what's going to come in the next few uh, years. We have heard about a lot of projects and we have seen how magnificent those projects are. From what we stand as a Saudi Contractors Authority, these are just some figures to show and these are in some of, the, some of them are a bit conservative. The contracting sector by itself represents around 6% of the GDP. And we have, this is an earlier uh, numbers, an earlier estim estimates that we have in Saudi Contractors Authority. The market size was around 255 billion Saudi Riyal annually. That was as per uh, earlier study in 2020. And we have, the contracting sector is the second largest sector in Saudi Arabia. We have around 170,000 different entity that works in the sector. And 98% of these entities are actually small and medium contractors. And that's where you would see, for the rest of my presentation, I'll be talking a lot about those small and medium. How are we trying to enable the larger one to capitalize and build a healthier relationship with those smaller ones? Around 3 million workers work in this sector. 13% of them are Saudis. And that represents around 20-21% of the total workforce. And this is a sector that is encompassing a huge number of entities that interact and work together to come up with, with what we see it as an end result, a very successful project. It's worth mentioning that contracting sector is one of the great enablers for Fission 2030. And this is at which, if we have a very healthier sector, we are definitely gonna have all these Fission 2030 initiatives being met as bear the target that's planned for. So who are we? So the Contractors Authority is an entity that was established as a result of a Council of Ministers decree. Uh, I was told today that in three days we will complete our seven years uh, since the announcement of the, uh, the, the, the Council of Ministers decree. As per the decree, we have 21 mandates that were spelled out clearly of what our mission is. As per the direction of the mandate, all the contractors that are working in Saudi Arabia should be registered in Saudi Contractors Authority. We are a non-profit organization. We are self-dependent organization, supervised by MOMRA as a government ministry. And we focus mainly on six main categories of contracting that includes you know, the, the construction contracting, the specialized construction, the facility management, and so on and so forth. And in order to help or to deliver our mission, we have 
focused on three key initiatives or three key uh, groups of activities that we do. One of them is regulatories. How can we provide regulatory activity to the sector so we can help uplifting the sector standards and the way that the sector is acting and uh, delivering. Secondly is providing a business services and I will talk about some of them. And the last is to provide the value added services to the contracting community. And then underneath these three categories, there are a lot of services that we provide. And the first one is the licensing. So these are some of the, you know, the, the, the services that includes licensing, information services, the academy and localizations, consulting services, standard contracts, events and exhibitions, excellence awards, contractors rating, and projects platform as well as project manager platform. And all of these services, you can easily uh, reach them in our website, muqawal.org, which is the platform at which we provide our services. And when we talk about the first one, so the licensing is a newly introduced service at which we try to ensure that we have a one-stop shop for all entities, whether these are governmental, private sector, semi-government, or even for individual or citizens who are in a need for the contracting uh, services. And with that, and with a standard, uh, I would call, uh, uh, technical evaluation that we perform with the contractors, we will ensure that we will improve the transparency significantly, so you will get to know the actual capabilities of a contractor. We will improve the quality and the competitiveness of the contracting, working in the contracting sector. We will provide the contractors with more business leads. We will help both the contractors and the owner to have an access and up-to-date you know, access to information of the project. We will have a single point to understand the exact current capabilities in the, in the sector within the kingdom. And of course, throughout this qualification process, we will improve the quality and the deliverables of the project that are delivered. This is just a technical information. What do we look at? And actually, we look into project management capability. We looked into quality management capability. We looked into, we look into the training. We look into the training history of the contractors. We look into the HSSEs. We look into the technical qualification of the contractors. We go back to the large contractors and we start looking into their you know, management of their smaller contractors. We look into their social responsibilities. We look into local content. We look into experience. We look into briefest projects. So all these information are information that we are capturing, maintaining, and ensuring that they are with the highest credible references that are available. A lot of these information are not captured through the contractors, but we collect them electronically by integrating with a lot of ministries and a lot of entities. So we ensure we have a real information that represents actually what the contractor has. The second category of service that we talk about is our academy, CA Academy, which is a platform that we are offering a lot of training that will help the contractors to uplift their capabilities, not actually contractors, contractors, and beneficiaries, which is including non-contractors sometimes, the clients. And we look into technical areas that are, in sometimes you cannot find them covered somewhere in colleges or in, in some of the education centers. And then we ensure that all these education that are provided are provided by a high, highly qualified personnel and it's been recorded and taken in consideration with the contractors. We also do a lot of work into localizations at which we try to identify categories of competencies that are required. We train our Saudi citizens, male and female, to ensure that they go through a, a rigorous program to qualify them and prepare them for the working environment and then work uh, with contractors to avail the right jobs for them. Moving on, as I said earlier, 98% of the contractors are actually small and medium contractors. And if you, if you do the math, 98% and then you think about 170,000 entities working in the sector, you know that we have a huge number of contractors who are medium and small. And those, unfortunately, they don't have an access to support. Uh, if we look into a large contractor, they could bring the right consultant, they could improve the way that they do business, 
But unfortunately, that's not the case for the small and medium. And that's why we came up with value-added services to provide consultations that covers both administrative, technical, and it goes beyond that to beneficiaries who are mostly citizens in smaller projects. Now, all these technical consultations or administrative consultation, administrative consultation tackle building the capabilities of the contractors itself, helping them in running the projects as they execute it, so they will always have a reference that they could go to whenever they have any challenges, whether it's technical or administrative. In addition to that, we also help citizens who are building their homes or small projects to have an access to a consultant or advisories who can help them to answer any technical issues as they arise throughout the project life cycle. These are some of the categories of the consultations, and underneath each category, there is a subcategory specifying the specific capability at which we have uh, a qualified consultant to provide consultations with. Now, this is helping the smaller and medium contractors to uplift their capabilities. It will ensure always that we have consultant around the week to provide these consultations, and it will help to introduce the technologies, bridging the gap with the new uh, regulation that are being introduced into the sector. The next one is the project platform. And if you go a few years back, a new platform has been introduced, which is Itimad. And I'm sure all contractors, they know Itimad very well, which is a standard centralized government platform at which you can have an access to all government projects in one single place. So this is great. But when you go to the private sector, there isn't such. And this is where we come up with the idea of establishing the parallel platform of Itimad that centralizes all the projects that are listed by private sector entities, no matter what that entity is. So we will have this platform and all the projects that are related to the contracting sector will be listed within a single platform. So that we will have two platforms one will have all the project by the government, one will have all the project by all the private or even individuals in one single place. So this is available for also for contractors who are looking for subcontractors, so they can easily sort of outsource their project by subcontracting it to qualified small and medium contractors. And we know for sure, we're talking about a huge infrastructure project, we're talking about giant, Projects, no single contractor will do all the job by themselves. They need it to capitalize into smaller, medium contractors. And for these large contractors, they need to have an access to the right platform. This is where we bring it into the table. I've been talking to so many contractors, and one of the contractors, he said, in one of my projects, in a single project, I have more than a thousand small and medium contractors working with me just on that single project. So by introducing this, we are not only helping the large contractor, but in addition to that, we are also helping the small and medium who are suffering in finding the right opportunities. So it's a win-win for everybody. This is just an example of the platform. You can see that uh, uh, it's an, by the way, all of our services are 100% electronic services. So all of these are introduced in a very nice to use and to access a platform. People can list their projects, and once they list the project, qualified contractors have the right to bid on these projects. The owner will see all the bids, and not only that, but also he could zoom in, and he could see the qualification of the contractor. All of that is done electronically in one single place. Information services. We have a huge sector, and without an access to information, we will not have the capability to plan. And without proper planning, we cannot really succeed in what we are doing. The unfortunate thing is there wasn't any single source where we can look into and have an access to information. And this is one of the services that we introduced, which will provide all the people who are contractors or registered within Saudi Contractors Authority with an access to, um, to an up-to-date information, whether these are information related to statistics, statistics, statistics around the people working in the sector, the projects that are in the sector, the number of organizations, the distribution of you know, the specializations, what do we have in a specific categories, then we can 
as a contractor or as an investor will understand where is the gap and understand where to go. So this is an information services that are available to everybody. You can reach it and you can see a lot of statistics are available and you can dynamically you know, uh, play with these numbers and you will be able to do a lot of analysis just from these statistics. The other one is the price index. We started with around 12 categories of, uh, you know, major items used in the contracting sector. And underneath it, more than 40, 48, I, I believe, subcategories. And you can benchmark the prices and how is these moves of the prices, whether you're looking at steel, concrete, or any other, uh, uh, you know, major item used in the contracting. And with that, you will have a good prediction, you know, prediction of how is these prices going as you move forward. In addition to a lot of surveys, a lot of uh, you know, publication that we, we, we do in SCA or in, in partnership with other partners, in a lot of regulation being also uh, circulated to all the members so they can always be up to date of what's happening in the sector. That shows you just a snapshot. In the top, you can see the information services. You could see you could do a lot of you know, uh, analysis and uh, I've received a lot of feedback, a lot of people who have benefited a lot from this. It's very easy to use, easy to access, and, ha and it's very rich on information. But we are not happy yet. There is a lot that we will add in the, fear, in the near uh, few months as we go. The second one is the publication platform. This is a snapshot which shows and keeps all the people who are interested in the sector up to date of what's going on. Standard contracts, and these are uh, a very smart solution that we just launched a few months ago that regulates the relationship between the contractors and the smaller businesses or citizens. So it's not anymore left to people. Now we have developed more than 30 standard contracts that are built carefully to cover all the technical and legal aspects. All these contracts are electronic. They are available in the platform. They are digitally signed. They are digitally referenced, and we are building on top of that now the escrow account that will look into the transactions or the financial aspect of these contracts. You can always go and make a new update of these contracts. You can always amend the contract, but all of that is done digitally. And this enables you know, the, 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 the clients, as a result, later on to come back and also do the rating for the contractors who did the job. So these are categories, sorry, I don't want to go through all of them, but it covers a very huge number of specialization that are done by contractors. Now, in addition to that, we also enabled contractors to register their contract that are not digital, so we can reference it, we can validate it, and they could always make uh, an up-to-date reference of what's going on in the sector by home. The very next one is the contractor's rating. And the contractor rating is basically, once a contractor did a job, at the end of the job, the client will evaluate and rate the contractor on the basis of the job that was done. So basically, we have licensing and qualification process that's done by us, and then we have a rating process that's done by the clients. And that's the back loop for us, to know how good is the contractor is performing with respect to his actual project that are being executed. Now, that will definitely improve the transparency in the sector, and as a result, it will improve and enrich what we call it the trust or the confidence in the sector. Our vision in Saudi Contractors Authority is building the future with confidence. We are reinstating the confidence in the sector. We are trying to make sure that all the parties that are working together, they are working in a very transparent environment, and they, they can understand the capability of each other, they can communicate, they can exchange information knowledge, and on top of that, they can trust their counterparties and their capabilities. The very next project is project managers, and this is targeting the smaller size projects and focusing mainly in citizens. So we have qualified a number of projects who are capable of running a smaller project, we are reinstating also the project management capabilities and concepts from the beginning. We don't only do it only with the large projects or with the government or the large private sector. We want that to be done also on the smaller projects. And that will avail a lot of job opportunities for Saudi citizens, male and female, and also improve the process of running smaller projects, improve the quality, reduces the time, reduces the cost, and makes everybody happy. Events and exhibition, this is a beautiful topic because 
Today we are attending one of the great events. And for us, as I said, we are a standalone organization, so this is for us a revenue stream, but more importantly, it enables contractors to have an access to knowledge, to have an access to opportunities, to have an access to the latest trend in the industry, be it technological, be it you know, regulatory, be it any other trends, and that will help to uplift their capabilities and enable networking uh, you know, opportunities just like what's happening today. We have, every year, we run and sponsor. For 2022, we have more than 18 specialized events, and today is one of them. Some of these events are huge events that we are conducting by ourselves. Some of these events are events that we are doing it with partners. One of the major, the most exciting an interesting event for us is the Future Project Forum. And this forum is an event that we are running every year. Next year will be the fifth edition. And Future Project Forum, just to give you a snapshot of what happened in 2022. In 2022, we have had more than 40 project owners participating in showcase of their project. Now, some of these numbers are accumulative, but in 2022 alone, more than 3,000 projects have been presented with a total value that exceeds 800 billion Saudi Riyal. So that was a huge event, that was a huge presentation. And by the way, for those who are interested, there is a book published in our platform, in actually in our uh, you know, publication platform that has all this information. You could go there and you could buy it from uh, the, the, the publication platform. This is just a snapshot of, of the event. It has more than, a hundred, more than 1,500 contractors, major contractors, local and international, usually attended at a level of an executive level, chairman or CEOs or board members or uh, certain you know, decision makers. It's, it's truly an event that anybody in the sector should not miss. And that's an event at which a collaboration and access to uh, what's happening in, in Saudi Arabia for the next three years is always uh, presentable. We have the Excellence Award, and this is an interesting initiative. We ran it earlier this year, and we have the second version. We have an interesting Excellence Award to promote excellency in the sector. Uh, Excellence Awards are accessible you know, from our platform, and you can also outreach them through the email. It is helping the contractors in certain categories to compete in showing case of their capabilities. And at the year end, we have a very interesting, uh, you know, a committee of juries who are evaluating all this application and selecting, you know, the winners, whether they are the best contractors or the best innovation, best leaders, and so on and so forth. I don't want to talk much more because I will, I will end up, you know, taking the whole time. But what I wanted to state is, we are very much excited of what is happening in Saudi Arabia nowadays. It has never been as such. There is huge projects that are taking place. There are huge opportunities for everybody. And as a Saudi contractors authority, we start very strongly to try to be an enabler for all these players. There are a lot of expectation, and we have a very great team who are working day and night to make these ex expectations happen. I conclude by thanking the organizer for uh, making this great event. Uh, I thank you for you know, being patient with me to go through all this interesting uh, initiative. And I wish the exhibition and the conference all the best of luck and the success for the next few days. Thank you very much for listening.